Hello, everybody. Jesse here with Practical Missions Cohorts. And today we are doing another episode of the Ask a Missionary series, a uh, question and answer related to all things missions, missionary life, uh, missions work in the country of Italy, and things like this. Uh, this is a question that came to us during a wonderful dinner with our some of the members of our home church in Long Island, New York. And uh, the brother asked uh, this question here, How can we be of encouragement to you while you are overseas serving? How can we be of encouragement to you while you are overseas serving? And it's one of those questions, again, where I'm not really sure how to answer it at first. I mean, anything can be encouraging to us. Some things, for sure, can be discouraging. Uh, that's always a fact. Uh, but the reality is, uh, uh, the answer I gave uh, will be this, and then I'm going to add something to it as well. Uh, but uh, the first thing that came to mind was uh, keep in touch, right? Uh, if you want to be of encouragement to your missionaries, find a way, somehow, uh, to keep in touch. Uh, often they are doing more work than any normal people can handle. Uh, <clears throat> so they're doing a lot strictly by the grace of God, carrying forth with minimal resources and an abundance of work that needs to be done. And it's easy to stay out of touch with folks, and then you're out of sight, out of mind for a lot of folks. So anytime you can keep in touch, just a simple, hey, how you doing? Or, hey, how can we be praying for you in this season? Uh, or, hey, saw one of your updates. Uh, appreciated this, appreciated that. W what did you mean by that? Any kind of uh, communication is a big help. Uh, so in our case, for example, we send out, uh, we have an email newsletter that we send out. Uh, we do quarterly newsletters and then just regular uh, brief updates and sharing of different content, uh, either from Missions Incorporated or the podcast, I mean, um, yeah, the, the, which is the podcast of the ministry, or the PMC Missions blog, perhaps we'll share something new from there, or uh, at times uh, some, some updates or prayer requests, in particular if it's something urgent, prayer requests. Uh, but if you sign up to that uh, email list, that's a great way to remain or be encouraging to us while we're overseas. So if you haven't done that already, we would encourage you, uh, go ahead to practicalmissions.org, and uh, it pops up on the screen for you there, <clears throat> an opportunity to simply leave your name and an email and get on to the emailing list. And then what I would say is uh, once in a while, I know everybody's busy and you just kind of browse things quickly, especially with email, uh, but once in a while, if, uh, if you feel moved in any way, uh, send us a, a simple comment. Thanks for the update, or appreciate that, or praying for you guys. Simple stuff like that is a great way to be uh, encouraging to missionaries, and uh, we appreciate that as well. We actually don't get too many responses from our email updates, uh, so some more of those would probably be encouraging. And then the other thing that comes to mind when it comes to how can we uh, encourage you while you're overseas, or how can we be of encouragement to you guys while you're laboring in the trenches over there, uh, enduring much of the things you do, uh, the other thing that comes to mind is uh, join the Italian cohort. This is our online uh, community for all people who love Jesus Christ, love uh, anything uh, related to Italy, love the Italian people, and want to have an in inside access to the work happening in the country of Italy with the evangelism, the disciple-making, and church planting. Uh, but there's so many different things. We share cultural things about Italy in that, in that platform. We share uh, even yeah recipes for, for, for meals, family updates, prayer requests, uh, all the latest uh, content coming out of the ministry that can be of edification to you or a blessing to you or somebody you know. Uh, so it's a great way to keep in touch. You can we kind of consider it like a private um, social media platform just for us and for friends, partners in the ministry who want inside access to what's going on in Italy and to have a way to hear from us more more often and stay in touch or even interact with us. Uh, so it's actually a, it's a great opportunity. Now, I, I, if you're like me, you don't like to get all kinds of notifications on your phone. You mute out a lot of different things so you don't have constant distractions, you know, dinging and chiming throughout the day. Uh, but you can, on your own terms, maybe even just once a week or every other week, drop in there to see what the latest news is, see what the latest things are. And there's also a way to personally, uh, privately contact us through that app. So it's an app called Discord. It's totally free to use. All you need is an email and a name, and you can get instant access there, join in. It's a small uh, group of believers at this point, but we're hoping, praying, while we're here in the States, to see some more of our friends and partners uh, find a way to join in there. And uh, on your own terms, come and, and interact, see what's going on, get the latest, and, uh, and keep in touch that way. So that uh, would be the other way, I would say, if you want to encourage us while you're overseas, uh, that is helpful. Obviously, praying for us whenever you think of us is, is for sure a big boost and is also part of the motivation uh, for our emails that go out. It started out simply prayer requests because we understand the need that we have for people 
praying for us if we're going to continue bearing fruit in a land like that. Uh, so praying for us, uh, getting on the email list, another great way to uh, encourage us, as well as joining in on the Italian cohort, the online community there, uh, just to, uh, uh, to to remain in, in contact with us there. Those are probably the best ways uh, that I would say at this point uh, you could be of encouragement to us while we're serving overseas. That's all for today, guys. Thanks uh, for tuning in, and until the next time, ciao, ciao.